Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome if you are new and my name is Kirielle. If you wanna just stop in by, I'd love it if you'd stick around. I mean, I guess we've just started the video and you don't have much to go off about subscribing as of yet, but <laughs> hey, if you wanna, you might as well subscribe, but I best get on with it so you have some content to actually subscribe to. Anyway, I'm all over the place today. What are we doing? <laughs> Today I wanted to do a video on products that YouTube made me buy, which I'm actually thankful for. I did a similar video recently about the products that I'm annoyed YouTube made me buy. <laughs> <laughs> and now I wanted to talk about the things that are actually worth the hype that they got and products that I actually reuse all the time because I just love them and I'm glad they were recommended to me. This makeup by the way is coming up in an upcoming video. It's gonna be a full face of high-end makeup if you're interested. Remember to turn on your notifications so you get notified when that gets uploaded. But let's get started. I actually have quite a few products to get through. <laughs> so I've got the two kind of higher-end primers that I'm in love with. I guess this isn't so much a primer, but it's the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. This moisturizer is yeah, it's so nice underneath makeup. It gives you such a nice luminosity to the skin. It makes you feel plump and hydrated and also just gives such a pretty glow. It's just such a good moisturizer and this was actually like a little sample that I got in a set for Christmas. Technically I didn't buy it, but I'm going to. <laughs> because I think it's definitely worth the investment because it just makes my skin look so nice and feel so nice. Next up is the Origins Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer. This I saw Tati Beauty use and a few other influencers I think so I ended up buying it and oh my gosh this stuff really does lose your skin and it feels so nice when you put it on. It's really refreshing, especially in the morning. If you're feeling like a bit groggy and you're about to put your makeup on, this just kind of peps you up because it has that cooling sensation. It feels really nice. And this is like a go-to product for me. I do swap and change my primers out quite a lot, but I always go back to this because I know I love it. Another primer that's a bit more affordable is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This is such a weird product in my eyes because it fills in the pores but also it feels hydrating at the same time as you guys may be able to see I've used quite a bit of this. <laughs> it just smooths out the skin but also leaves a hydrating base for your foundation and it's different to a normal pore filling primer. If you think about pore professional it's very matte almost in texture and you press it into the skin and it can kind of sit there but this almost feels like a mousse but when you blend it into the skin it just blends into a lovely moisturizing cream that fills in the pores and just, I don't know, it just preps the skin really nicely and it's really affordable. I know they have a luminous version and a matte version that I'm tempted to pick up as well, but I really, really love this. And a lot of people have raved about that and it's definitely worth it. This is kind of in the primer slash foundation slash it's amalgamation of everything. <laughs> this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This stuff is so nice. You can use it as like a natural glowy skin highlighter. You can use it by itself with like a moisturizer. You can mix it in with your foundation, your concealer. Like you can just put this all over as a primer. I thought it was gonna be a bit too dark, but it shears out really nicely. And I can mix it in with my lighter foundations. It just makes your skin look so amazing. I've used it today. I don't know how well the camera's gonna pick it up. It does almost filter the skin. It's just, it's a gorgeous product. It's really expensive for what it is, but it was definitely worth the high ratings that it gets and Sam Ravindol made me buy this one. <laughs> Worth it. Two foundations that I absolutely love and 100% YouTube made me buy. I mean, may I say more? <laughs> CYO Life Proof. I think this is one of those foundations that has been made popular because of YouTube. It works on a lot of skin types. The Taylor on YouTube, she has very dry skin. I have combination to oily skin and it works on me. I feel like this is a very diverse foundation. I don't know if they're still discontinuing this because I can still find it in stores, but CYO is a boots based brand, so it's still available over here at the moment. I've heard it's been discontinued though, but fingers crossed not. I've used quite a bit of this one. And I mean, this is a lot considering I have a whole thing of foundations over there that I also use. I tend to take this travel in with me if I want a foundation that I know is gonna always work. I highly recommend, really good. And then the second one is the L'Oreal Freshwear Tati Beauty really raved about this and I decided to buy it and try it. I've done videos on a lot of these products by the way. I'll link the videos up here in the eye for you guys. But yeah, the L'Oreal Freshwear Foundation. Gorgeous finish, very skin-like, very lightweight. It's very scented. That's the one thing about it I don't like, but the actual foundation formula and everything is gorgeous. Concealers. I haven't tried this on my actual videos as of yet, but I've been using this for quite a bit now, and it's the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I've got the shade Cloud, which is their lighter shade. And finally, there's a shade in Too Faced 
that actually suits me. The reason I didn't pick this up originally was because of that. I just couldn't find a shade that worked for me. But then they brought out the shade Cloud. I've also picked up the foundation in this, by the way. I know one of you guys asked me to do a review on that. I have worn it a few times. I can still do a review if you guys want me to. Just leave a thumbs up and I'll certainly do that for you. But yeah, the finish on this concealer, you guys, it is one of the best for my under eyes. I have very creasy under eyes and dehydrated under eyes. This doesn't emphasize lines at all and it feels really good on the under eye and it almost feels hydrating. Another thing, which is pretty much one of the loves of my life now, <laughs> is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. This keeps its coverage underneath my eyes without making it cakey, without creasing too much. And even though it's a very thick consistency, it doesn't feel heavy underneath my eyes. Like this is one of my favorite concealers ever. And I heard about this through Makeup by Missa, I'm pretty sure. And Nikki Tutorials was the person I think I originally heard about this from. But oh my gosh, I'm literally, <laughs> on my last leg. So this concealer, I've taken the stop route to try and get as much product out of it as possible. I need to buy a new one, but I have so many other concealers that I need to go through. So I'm just putting it off, but I always find myself wanting to reach for this all the time. Thank you. You too. I love it so much. <laughs> a more affordable one, which I didn't think I would love, and it's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is one that I've heard people talk about like quite a bit and say that it's a dupe of the NARS Creamy Concealer, which I haven't tried, so I can't attest to, but I thought I wanted to try a version of this kind of formula that might have been similar. So I picked this up, and oh my gosh, it is so beautiful underneath the eye. If I want to go for more of a everyday kind of look, this is so lightweight, so brightening, really nice finish, and again, does not accentuate my increasing so I really appreciate that and it's so affordable and they have a shade that's fair enough for me now again another reason why I couldn't use it originally but this is shade 05 and they also have a shade 03 which I have picked up it looks a little pink but I love this one anyway powder I have one powder that I know I would never have bought if it wasn't for YouTube <laughs> like a hundred percent if it wasn't for YouTube I would have never gone anywhere near this brand probably <laughs> and it is the hourglass ambient lightening powder I have well loved this <laughs> This has traveled with me so much, that's why it's all like rubbed off and everything. And this is the inside of it. As you can see, I have, well, loved this powder. <laughs> if you want to set your face, but not look flat. This is the powder for you. It is such a gorgeous sheen and it brings life to your skin almost. If you're feeling a little bit dull, if you put this over top, it is beautiful. I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase just because it's so gosh damn expensive for a powder, like 40 pounds for a powder. Are you mad? Clearly I was, but I've well used this and this has been going for quite a while now, over a year, maybe two years, I don't even know. <laughs> but it is so gorgeous and I'm just gonna apply some because why not? Because we're moving into the next thing, which is actually this brush. <laughs> This is a more recent purchase of mine, but I love it. I saw, I think it's Ali, Ali Giles. I'm not quite sure if that's her name. Use a brush that, I don't even know if this was it, okay? But this looked like it. <laughs> I literally searched throughout her whole channel and I could not find what brush it was, but this does look like it. This is the Nabla Precision Powder Brush. Oh my gosh. It is so soft one, like it feels so good on the skin and it just tucks into those areas that you need to powder down. And it's almost like a finishing brush. It just like seamlessly blends the powder into the skin. Once I'm pretty much done with my makeup, I just like take this and just kind of finesse everything. <laughs> I feel like a painter with this brush and I don't know why. But yeah, beautiful brush, beautiful powder. YouTube maybe buy them. I love them. Ooh, how could I forget this powder? Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Um, Nicole Guerrero got me into this. 100% made me buy it. I didn't think that much of it at first, but now I have more prominent lines underneath my eyes. I find this such a good powder for that. I think I originally tried to bake with it and that's why I didn't like it at first, but I've just learned like baking just is not for my under eyes. It just dries them out even more and I do not need that. <laughs> this slightly dusted underneath my eyes sets it so nicely. I know they have like a press version, which I kind of want to get my hands on to try, but this, mm, I love it so much. It's definitely something that I can't replace at the moment. I am trying to find dupes of it. So far, nothing has compared. This is one of a kind and I love it. Highlighter, I got quite a few here because of YouTube. <laughs> First one, oh for highlights. Um, for one, this one is a Nikki Tutorials collaboration. I actually had this as a gift of my partner and I've been hooked ever since. 
<laughs> so I went ahead and bought another one. The formula on this is just crazy. I've never seen such a blinding, creamy highlight. Honestly, every single time I use it, I forget how crazy blinding they are. Okay, that was a terrible swatch. There we go. They just blur into the skin and just melt in and just become part of you and that's what I want for my highlight. <laughs> so Nikki Tutorials definitely got me onto Ofra highlights. Also Soap Does Nails talks about them a lot. They're just gorgeous. They're one of those products that if you want a really nice highlight, Ofra highlights pretty much across the board are amazing. Another one, this is kind of more Instagram made me buy but I'm putting it in the video anyway. <laughs> this is by Doll Beauty and it's the Doll Light Highlight. Again, beautiful formula and it just merges into the skin and doesn't show texture and just reflects the light so nicely. It's a blinded highlight and like middle ground kind of cost. I think it's 15 pounds. Blinding, really love it. <sighs> I had to buy, had to buy a Becca highlight. When I first tried this, it left real gray cast on my skin, but I think it's because I use too much. <laughs> this is vanilla quartz and it's a stunning white to peachy gold reflect oh my god so pretty and if you're pale this will yeah, if this will suit you it's like the mini one it's are really creamy and again they glide on the skin so nicely worth all the hype although champagne pop was just too hyped up in my opinion I almost forgot to add this in but I have to because when you guys see the state of this I mean I don't even know what to say <laughs> it's battered and bruised okay this is the Rachel loves pixie palette Rachel loves made me buy this I mean clearly <laughs> The actual shades, the pants, it's a mess, but look what I did. 700 years bad luck or whatever, but this, the pixie highlights. I was sleeping on them, oh my gosh. Again, these are one of the most creamiest formulas. This reminds me of the payoff of Ofra, however, they feel more creamy to the touch, they're more soft. But oh my god, these highlighters, again, they're just in insane. Insane, look at, like, look at that. That was, I barely touched that, okay? Like, oh my gosh, these. Worth the hype, I highly recommend. You may be lucky and have one of these on the giveaway. Not saying you do, but you might. Um, <laughs> but this is like another, just, I, I love you. Thanks. <laughs> All right, let's get to the goods, which is the glitters and liquid eyeshadows, which I'm obsessed with. I mean, Instagram, YouTube, Huda Beauty, anybody. <laughs> these are totally worth the hype. I love the metallic shades. They don't crack. And also the matte sides are actually really good. I've been using the matte side a little bit more recently and they're just so easy. <laughs> I did a look on TikTok with this one. This one has Wednesday and Froyo and I just put Wednesday throughout the crease and like all over the lid and it was just so nice. It's really easy to blend with a brush and overall really good products. If you've ever wondered if these are like worth it, if you find one in a shade that you know you're gonna use a lot, 100% worth it. And then, of course, I can't do this video without these. <laughs> these are pretty much what made me think about doing this video. Um, it's the Cela Magnificent Metals. Pretty much YouTube and Instagram sold me these and I've never gone back. <laughs> I think the thing that I most love about these is just the ease of them and just the overall finish that you get with them. They're just so quick and easy, but yet you've got like a dazzling look on your hands. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> they just finish off your makeup look and make it look so much more special but you don't have to put that much effort into it they're just like my favorite okay they they are another love of my life so thank you so much youtube <laughs> i've become a easy glitter addict and i'm not mad about it like these are so good and to link on to that another obsession but more affordable these are another more recent purchase but i had to include them in this and it's the elf glitter liquid shadows these are pretty much exactly the same as the Stila one. These ones with the base color. Oh my God, you can cut a crease with them. You can just add them to the center. Like these are five pounds, five freaking pounds. I can't believe how good these are for five pounds. Like I wanna buy like every single shade. I saw the Taylor use in this and I immediately bought like three. <laughs> YouTube again, you just slam dunk. Is that the saying? I don't know basketball. <laughs> They're really good. Okay, these two are both more recommendations from Tati Booty. Clearly I'm sucked in when she says something's good. <laughs> but for good reason. Elf and Wet n Wild eyeshadows. These are so incredible for the price. I got these on sale for like four pounds each when they're originally 10 pounds and I would still pay 10 pounds for them. Pigment and blendability, man. They're just so easy. I think they especially thrive in the matte finish. Like this all matte eyeshadow palette is so nice. You know, if you just need a simple everyday look, you can go in, fluff and blend and don't even have to worry about these colors. The metallic formula is nice, but it's not as nice as their matte formula in my opinion. But still, look at these shimmers. 
Like they're so good, like ridiculously good for the price. Can't believe how long it took me to try Elf Cosmetics because I honestly was just comatose, asleep, out of it. Like why? <laughs> and same with Wet n Wild, they are so blendable. So blendable? <laughs> Is that a brand crossover there? So blendy, so easy to work with, so effortless. The actual formula in itself is kind of dusty, but honestly you can look past it because of the pigment. So freaking good. Look at that, oh my god. It does kind of remind me of the ABH formula because it kind of fluffs up like the ABH palettes do. But these are like, what, four pounds each? They're constantly going on sale in Beauty Bay as well. Like, honestly, these, again, I slept on them. I mean, the main reason I slept on them is because we couldn't get wet and wild in the UK until like last year, so I guess I had good reason, but now I'm so thankful that I can get my hands on this stuff. Another one that I'm obsessed with is the Tati Beauty palette. <laughs> if I were to recommend an eyeshadow palette that has kind of been hyped online that I know a lot of people are gonna use, it would be this one because it's so neutral, but it's got a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> you've got so many diverse mattes that you can work with with different tones, and then you've also got a little bit of color, but then also just this top row here. It's just a play zone to me. <laughs> this is one of those palettes that is so high-end, and I understand it's very expensive, but I think it is worth it. It's so good. Definitely a product that I would never regret buying. <laughs> A few honourable mentions, I guess, would be my Jeffree Star palettes because they're really good and I really love them as well. But I don't use them as much as my Tati Beauty, I've got to be honest. Alright, liquid lips, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, anybody? The formula in these are just flawless. I just love them, especially the nude colours. This is my favourite one, which is Can't Relate. I also really love Mannequin. But just the formula is so thick, it doesn't dry your lips out. So many colours, they're also eye safe. Genuinely, it is one of the best formulas and worth the hype in my opinion. And yeah, obviously YouTube made me buy it. <laughs> another one is actually the Huda Beauty Matte Formula. Again, another one that's not drying on the lips. It's a really lightweight formula. Like These are really good and I know that Huda Beauty is one of those brands that just seems overhyped all the time and just overused, but the actual product in this case is really good. And then finally, another affordable one, and by Wet n Wild again. I feel like Wet n Wild's products are kind of looked over because they're so cheap and affordable, in my opinion. I just feel like we miss out a little bit because they're just a cheaper brand, but I truly believe their stuff is really good. So these are two matte lipsticks, and Raw Beauty Christy made me buy these, okay, with her Muggalicious all the time. <laughs> I've got the shades Bear It All and Sandstorm. This is a beautiful orangey toned lipstick. It looks so nice around fall. Formula again with these, they're really lightweight and not overly drying. For a more affordable matte bullet lipstick, they're so comfortable. All right, and I think I'm done. <laughs> We just went through a lot of makeup um, and all of it was really good. <laughs> but yeah, these products right here are definitely some of my favourite and I'm so glad that YouTube suggested them to me because honestly I don't know where I'd be now without them. <laughs> Alright, but that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know any products that YouTube made you buy that you really love and what I should be trying. Leave it in the comments down below for me. If you're interested, this makeup is coming up in a video, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe. All you need to do is hit the red button down below and the bell button, and that'll just notify you when I upload next. If you enjoy these kind of videos, please leave a thumbs up so I know. And yeah, I'm gonna love you and leave you, but I hope to see you on the next one. Till then. Bye guys. Today I wanted to do, today I wanted to, I did a similar video, I did a sip, oh my god, words, and oh my gosh, this stuff really does blow, blow, <laughs> I mean mainly because, <coughs> well the makeup's killing me off, <laughs> three, and wet and file for what? <laughs> this kind of remind me of the like ABH for, 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 formula. It's a <laughs>